How do you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? You will see one later and one in a while. Today, I'm going to recap a 2022 action crime film called Lesson Plan. The movie begins by showing activities at a gangster headquarters and a drug manufacturing site. Moments later, a man named Damien Nowicki, who is known as a confidant of the gangster boss named Makak, is seen coming to the headquarters to pick up some goods to be circulated. When Damien met his boss, Makak suddenly accused Damien of betraying him, so Makak planned to finish Damien's life. When Makak's men attacked Damien, he fought back and defeated everyone at the headquarters, including Makak. Makak, who was dying, said that he had found out Damien's true identity and the location of his wife, so Damien rushed back home. When Damien arrived home, he was shocked to see his house in shambles and find Makak's gang had killed his wife. One month later, Damien seemed to be still grieving after his wife's death, and he had even quit his job as a special agent and only spent his days getting drunk at home. One day, Damien was contacted by his old friend Simon Makawinicki, a high school teacher. During the call, Simon said he had something important to talk about, so he asked Damien to come to his house at night. After dark, Damien went to Simon's house to have dinner and talk about the problem Simon was facing at school. Simon explained that many of his students were addicted to illegal drugs and died from an overdose. Simon, who suspected that the circulation of these drugs involved insiders at the school, finally asked Damien for help solving the case because Damien was known as an experienced special agent. Unfortunately, with Damien still in a bad state after the death of his wife, he refused Simon's request and asked his best friend to report the case to the police. Hearing this, Simon explained that he had reported it to the police many times, but the police had never taken any action until now. Nevertheless, Damien refused Simon's request. On the other hand, Kamo Makuniki, Simon's son who attended the school where his father worked, overheard the conversation between his father and Damien. The following night, Damien was seen at a convenience store buying a drink. Suddenly, he was approached by a group of thugs who took his wallet by force. Damien then got angry and beat up all the thugs. On the other hand, Simon decided to investigate the circulation of illegal drugs by going to a warehouse that he believed to be a storage place for illegal drugs. However, when Simon was about to enter the warehouse, he was caught by one of the dealers. The next day, Damien was watching television at home and saw a news story about Simon's death in a storage shed by suspected suicide. From the news, Simon was thought to be one of the drug dealers who posed as a teacher and distributed the goods at school. After seeing the news, Damien felt guilty because he had refused Simon's request to dismantle the drug case at school. From his analysis, Damien assumed that the drug dealers had killed and scapegoated Simon. Not long after, Damien went to Simon's house and tried to calm Simon's wife, saying that her husband was innocent. A policeman also at Simon's house then called Kamo, the son of a drug dealer. Kamo was visibly upset by this and tried to attack the policeman. Seeing that the policeman managed to lock Kamo's attack, Damien asked the policeman to release Kamo. A few weeks later, Damien applied as a teacher at the school where Simon had previously taught, intending to investigate a drug trafficking case and look for evidence to clear the name of his best friend, who was labeled as a drug dealer. When he arrived at the school, Damien was welcomed by the staff and the principal named Chmielski, especially since the school needed new teachers. Chmielski also explained that he wanted to restore the school's image for the better, because the school's name became tarnished after Simon's death and the allegations against Simon that circulated. The school even had to hire security agents to prevent the circulation of illegal drugs there. After being officially accepted, not long after, one of the teachers, Agata Kirska came to the principal's office and introduced herself to Damien. Kamielski then asked Agata to introduce Damien as a new teacher to all the teachers and staff there. The next day, Damien started teaching a class. All the students acted like brats and did not respect him as a teacher. One of the students, Roy, did not seem to listen to Damien's orders to lower his legs from the table. Luckily, Agata and a security agent, Lesek Samotsky, entered the class, so Roy was expelled. At night, 
Agata, who had finished teaching, planned to go home and headed for her car in the parking lot. Suddenly, Roy and his group appeared to intercept Agata, and it seemed that Roy had bad intentions toward the teacher. Before Roy could carry out his action, Damien and another teacher named Harry arrived and defeated all of Roy's men, so Roy finally ran away after seeing all of his men battered. Harry himself seemed very impressed with Damien's martial arts skills. Meanwhile, Roy, who had escaped, appears to be captured by a gang of students from the school led by Jero. A few moments later, Lessa came riding a motorcycle in a full racer's outfit and immediately approached them. Lessick was very upset with Roy for misbehaving in class, because Roy could threaten the continuity of his business with the group of students for distributing illegal drugs. As a punishment to deter Roy, Lessick did not even hesitate to beat Roy up and break his legs. The next day, the teachers checked the CCTV that showed Damien's actions the night before, and all the teachers were amazed. Kamielski also thanked Damien for saving Agatha. As the class was about to start, Lessick suddenly approached Damien, who asked who he was. Damien calmly replied that he was just an ordinary history teacher and left Lessick to teach the class. As soon as Damien entered the classroom, it turned out that all the students knew Damien's previous actions, so they asked him to teach them martial arts. Damien, who saw the students' enthusiasm, finally agreed and began training his students during recess. The students seemed to enjoy the training session, even Kamal who had just entered school after his father's death, joined in the training. After the martial arts training, Damien was seen meeting Kamel in the dressing room. Kamel, who was still sad about Simon's death, was angry with Damien for refusing to help Simon to investigate the case of drug trafficking in the school, so that his father had to die during the investigation. Kamel said that if Damien had been willing to help Simon, his father would not have died and been accused of being a drug dealer. Damien tried to calm Kamal down by explaining that his arrival as a teacher at the school was to investigate the case and clear Simon's name. In the evening, Damien went with Agatha to a bar, and the two seemed attracted to each other. After chatting, Damien intends to get a new drink until he sees some men harassing one of the bar patrons. Damien immediately asked the men to stop bothering the patrons there, but the group of men attacked Damien instead, so he fought back, and a scuffle ensued. Agatha, who saw how Damien's defeated the men at the bar, became increasingly interested in him and invited him to continue drinking at her apartment. When Damien was waiting for Agatha, who was preparing drinks, he suddenly remembered his wife, who gangsters killed, so he decided to leave Agatha's house immediately. Meanwhile, Agatha was quite surprised because she saw Damien had left her house without saying goodbye. On his way home, Damien accidentally saw a student from his school doing a drug deal. Damien immediately approached the student and asked where the student could get the goods. The student remained silent and did not tell Damien anything because he was afraid of being hurt by his boss. Damien finally let the student go and thought of another way to uncover the drug trafficking case at his school. The next day, a student named Emilia was arguing with Yaro because her best friend had become an addict after using drugs sold by Yaro and his group. Yaro, who doesn't care about it, asked his men to bully Emilia. Kamo came to save Emilia shortly after, but Yaro's men beat him. All students who saw the incident were threatened not to report the incident to the school or Yaro, and his group would hurt the student who complained. When in class, Damien saw Kamo's face was battered, so he asked who had done this to Kamo. However, Kamo only replied that he fell and got hurt. Damien certainly didn't believe it and asked other students, but none of the students in the class wanted to open their voices. Emilia only answered that none of them dared to complain about who the real perpetrator was because they were afraid the perpetrator would attack them. Another student added that they wanted to learn self-defense to protect themselves and not be afraid to fight bullies. Damien, who heard this, asked his students to come to a warehouse after school. After all the students arrived in a messy warehouse, Damien immediately asked his students to clean up the warehouse, which they would later use for martial arts training. The students were very excited and immediately tidied up the warehouse. A few days later, the warehouse was finally ready for use, and all the students regularly practiced there after school with Damien. 
On the other hand, Agatha often seems to avoid Damien, after his sudden departure from her house, without saying goodbye some time ago. As night fell, Damien kept an eye on Yarrow and his group of suspected drug dealers at the school. One day, Damien finds drugs in a locker that will be distributed at school. With his ingenuity, Damien tricked a few group members into getting caught by the police, which Damien called to come there. Unfortunately, without Damien realizing it, Lessig secretly watches everything he does. One day, after Damien finished training his student in martial arts, some masked men came to the warehouse and immediately attacked Damien. With Damien's martial arts skills, he easily defeated all the masked men. The next day, at school, Damien, who met Lessig's men, realized that they were the masked men who attacked him last night after seeing some scars on their faces. From a distance, Yakro tells Lessig he has an idea to get rid of Damien, so as not to disrupt their business again. At night, Yakro appears at Amelia's house and threatens Amelia to confess to being the victim of Damien's abuse. Yarrow and his group will not hesitate to hurt her father if she refuses the request. Amelia, who had no choice, agreed to the plan. The next day, Damien, who had just entered the school, saw teachers and students gathered in a hallway. Suddenly, Chmielski forbids Damien to enter his classroom and punishes him for some time for not teaching there because Damien has harassed Amelia after school at the martial arts training center. Chmielski, who looked disappointed, finally asked Lesek and his men to expel Damien from the school. Because Damien felt he was being framed, he sneaked into Amelia's room at night to ask why Amelia had made a false report to the school. Amelia then explained that Yarrow threatened her to do this because if she refused, her father would be in danger. After learning about this, Damien decides to go to the hospital and meet Roy, who is still recovering after getting attacked by Lesek and Yarrow the other day. Damien, who had met Roy, immediately asked how illegal drugs could circulate freely at school. Roy, who felt betrayed by Lesek and Yarrow, told him everything, including information on all the illegal drugs produced at school. After hearing the information from Roy, Damien immediately headed to the school to prove the truth. Once there, Damien saw a suspicious person enter the school laboratory. Damien immediately followed the man secretly, and surprisingly, he saw a chemistry teacher named Titus mixing illegal drugs in the laboratory. Not long after, Damien saw the person in the lab carrying all the items out of the school, photographed them as evidence, and immediately followed the car used to transport them. While following the car, Damien realized that all the illegal drugs made in the lab would soon be shipped via a dock. Unfortunately, Damien's actions were spotted when he tried to check the contents of a container that he believed was where the drugs were stored. Damien ended up having to fight several people there. He also contacted Agatha and Chmielski about everything he had seen that night. The next day, Chmielski calls in the chemistry teacher and some of Lesek's men that Damien saw last night. After explaining the report Damien gave, Titus denied that he was mixing drugs at school. Titus explained that his presence in the lab last night was only to clean the glue and asked some school security agents to dispose of the remaining chemicals used. Since Damien did not have any solid evidence, Chmielski eventually deemed that it was all a misunderstanding and Titus and the others were cleared of the charges. After the incident at school, Agatha visited Damien at his house in the evening. When Agatha arrived at his house, Damien asked if she was still disappointed with him for suddenly leaving her and harassing his student. Agatha calmly replied that she knew that Damien was innocent of the harassment charges because she had also met Amelia, who told her the truth. Damien then explained that he suddenly left Agatha because he still remembered his late wife, even though he also liked Agatha. Not only that, but Damien also told her about his goal of becoming a teacher at the school, to investigate drug trafficking cases and clear Simon's name. After hearing Damien's explanations, Agatha was willing to help him. To start the investigation, Damien and Agatha met Titus secretly to ask where the drugs were kept. Before Titus could speak, Lesek suddenly arrived on a motorcycle and shot Titus dead in the head. The following night, Agatha returned to Damien and handed over a note belonging to Simon. 
In Simon's note, he drew a map leading to a warehouse, so Damien and Agatha assumed that the warehouse was where the drugs Simon had found before his death were stored. With that clue, the two rushed to get there. On the other hand, from a distance, Lesek was watching Damien and Agatha. Once Damien and Agatha arrived at the warehouse, Damien had to face Lesek's men, who had been waiting for him there. After defeating Lesek's men, the two finally found a pile of illegal drugs ready to be distributed. Suddenly, they were surrounded by Lesek, Yarrow, and his group, and even Shmaelski, who turned out to be the leader of the circulation of these goods at school, appeared there. Kamaelski said that Damien and Agatha would end up dead in that warehouse, just like Simon, who tried to find out about the circulation of the goods in the school. Luckily, Kamil and all of Damien's students taking martial arts training also came and helped their teacher defeat the drug dealers. Not long after, a fight ensues and Kamil has even been able to defeat Yaro, who once bullied him. Meanwhile, with his martial arts skills, Damien was also seen defeating Lesek. A few moments later, Damien immediately met Chmielski, who was now holding Agatha hostage with a gun. Luckily, Agatha managed to rebel, and Damien took the opportunity to beat Chmielski to the ground. However, when Damien and Agatha were caught off guard, Chmielski reached for his gun and shot Damien in the arm. Just before Chmielski was about to shoot Damien a second time, unbeknownst to Chmielski, Camille had brought a pile of porcelain and dropped it on Shmielski's head, killing him. At the movie's end, the police come to the location to secure the place. From the police findings, the police know that Simon is innocent of drug trafficking. After explaining everything to the police, Damien met Camille, who helped him crack the case. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.